So there are many features of a Brunton compass that are used in a variety of geologic settings. We are just going to focus on those related to strike and dip. So first and foremost, you'll notice that it is a compass. There is a magnetic needle that spins inside that compass uh, relative to the magnetic field of Earth. That, along with the round level, are used to measure strike. In the background, you can see the clinometer arm, uh, the clinometer scale, and the long level. These are used to measure the dip. They are manipulated with an arm that is adjustable on the back of the compass. Um, other features of the Brunton compass that are useful, you can see a pin to lock the magnetic needle. That is so that it doesn't move around after you take a measurement so that you can easily read it. And a long sight, which can be used to help you align to a strike surface. To measure the strike of a plane in the field, in this case a bedding plane, we first need to align the long edge of the compass and along with that the long sight of the compass so that they are parallel to the strike. Once the compass is parallel to the strike, we need to level the compass by situating the bubble in the round level so that it is in the middle of the level. And then we read the north arrow off of the magnetic needle relative to the azimuth scale. In this example, the strike is 355 degrees, or 5 degrees west of north. To measure the dip of a bedding plane, we have to orient the Brunton compass perpendicular to the strike. We also have to place the Brunton compass on its side. Once the compass is situated correctly, we can manipulate the arm on the back of the compass so that we level the long level inside the compass. With that long level situated correctly, we can read the clinometer arm on the clinometer scale.